Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a super easy and delicious pumpkin cheesecake. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious dessert, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to begin by preheating our oven to 325 degrees. Now we're going to grease our springform pan and once we have that ready, now we're ready to begin to make our crust. Alrighty guys, so we're going to be pulverizing 20 cookies. I was going to use this one, but it seems like somebody ate them. So we're just going to use what I have. And I have some sandy shortbread cookies. So we're going to put, transfer 20 cookies to our food processor. You can use Graham, Graham ham crackers as well. Just transfer them in there. To that, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of pecans, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of regular sugar. Okay, so now we're just going to crush everything together. Okay, so once we have that pulverized, now we are ready to make our crust. Transfer your crumbs. Okay, to that we're going to add four tablespoons of melted butter. And just mix it with your cookie crumbs until it feels like wet sand. Okay, so once we have that consistency, now we're just going to press it down. Okay, and once it looks like this, now we're going to bake for 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, our crust is ready, so now we're going to allow it to cool down. Meanwhile, we can make our cheesecake filling. For our cheesecake filling, we're going to beat 32 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, one quarter of a cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of pumpkin pie extract, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we're going to be beating a medium speed for about a minute. Once our cream cheese is smooth and creamy, we're going to add one can of sweet condensed milk, one can of pumpkin puree, a half a cup of sour cream, one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and a quarter of a cup of flour. So we're going to continue mixing until everything is well combined. Okay, so once our mixture is nice and smooth, we're slowly going to add four eggs, one at a time. And make sure that your eggs are at room temperature as well. Okay, once everything is well combined, now we are ready to transfer our mixture into our crust. Okay, so now we're not going to wrap our cheesecake in foil or oven bag. We're only going to use a baking sheet and a roasting rack, that's it. Okay, so we're going to grab our crust and now slowly we're going to pour our cheesecake mixture. And just make sure that it's nice and even. And just fill it all the way to the top. Okay, so now we're going to take it to the oven. Okay, so stick it in there. We're going to fill up our baking sheet with water. Just be careful not to get water inside the pan. And now we're going to bake for one hour to one hour and 10 minutes. Alrighty guys, so after one hour, we're going to check on our cheesecake. So carefully open it. So now we're just going to turn it off. Leave the door a little open and allow it to cool down for about an hour to an hour and a half. Alrighty guys, so after one hour, our cheesecake is good. So now we're going to allow it to sit in the refrigerator overnight or for at least four hours. Alrighty guys, so I made a cheesecake last night and it is ready now. So now we're just going to unlatch the pan. Just like that. All right, so now we can get ready for the fun part. Grab your slice and enjoy. Okay, now I'm just going to serve it with a little whipped cream. Just like that. Now we are ready to enjoy. 
Alrighty guys, and now for the best for the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy, and the best part is that it is very delicious. I promise you that everyone will enjoy it. Um, of course, if you think you know it's too much sugar, then just don't add the sugar, but for me, this is seriously perfect. So let's get, let's get to it. So cheers and enjoy. Mm. Seriously, the best. It's so creamy. You can taste that pumpkin. And like I said, it's not too sweet. It's just perfect. So good. And the cookie, the cookie crust, everything, the perfect combination. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make a delicious pumpkin cheesecake. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.